Sadcast. Sadcast, most unprepared podcast on the internet. My name is Billy and Mr. Suit. That's probably the most true one we've said. That is the most true. Yeah. Yeah. Today is officially uh, don't have anything to talk about day. Mark it on your calendars. Didn't we have that like not even three episodes ago? <laughs> I think even then I had like at least one thing. But I'm so blank brain. It's been a busy week, and yeah, um, it's been a lot of phone calls, a lot of prepping, trying to get this tour sorted, uh, music, and leaving the house and going to other places to record, and then coming back home, and then that's right. Soon, everyone then, here can have a piece of Billy. He'll be touring and going places. Yeah, yeah. Everyone you could, will be able to. I'm bringing a piece of my music to the to your city, uh, you know, and it's gonna be really fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun, guys. Just letting you know. Um, but man, it's like, wish I could go, but, uh, man, look at the time I got stuff to do on another planet. Yeah. 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 It's, uh, I mean, you have like five months, but are you, are you busy in the summer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've got, oh, I wish I could go. It's in like five months. Oh, uh, mm. I'm going to be, you busy know what? Then. I'm going to leave. I, my oven's going to be left on accidentally. Right. That yeah. happens. got to be careful on that. Yeah. You don't want to yeah. leave your oven on in five months accidentally. No way. Could you imagine? Could you imagine actually using that excuse? I left my oven on. I can't come to your show in five months. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, I mean I've definitely. Excuses are funny, like because. I mean, if you, are you are, do, you have anything planned in the hometown? In yeah. Chicago? Yeah. Uh, the or... the motherland. Yeah, there's um. I do. We're we're waiting on the confirmation, so I don't. I can't mm. like blurt out a date, but it's all falling around June. Because the thing is, I uh, I'm moving in July, so we're making sure that got to get all that money to move. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, make sure you get all that shit like planned real good. I have so you to, got the time. Yeah, yeah. Because because like if I. If, if I'm out of state between like houses, it's not going to work out. I have to make sure I have at least like a week, uh, you know, but honestly, like, yeah, this it, it's going to be, it's going to be fun. But, um, more... yeah, the downside of having like a nine to five is I can't just be like, even though it's through. like five months from now, I can't just be like, yeah, I'm going to fly around and follow you. you yeah. Know? Yeah. I mean, at least it's, Hey man, as long as you could come to the Chicago show, yeah. Or at least watch Don't get a video. backstage passes? Sure. I don't even know if these... Brother, we're, I, don't, we're, I don't even know if they're going to have a backstage. I'm playing in an alley. <laughs> yeah, we're, <laughs> we're booking, like, pretty small venues. Like, uh, you know, we, we want, like, intimate, like, small, you know... Damn, like, people might get a chance to meet Mr. Suit. Maybe, hey, bro. Pull up. Be fun. It'd be a, it'd be a fucking great time. Like, the last Chicago show I did uh, was awesome. I mean, any, any show... Like, the one in L.A., even in October, was fucking awesome. And uh, so I'm super stoked on that, but you dressed up for that one, right? Because that was like around Halloween. Yeah, yeah you were mermaid, mermaid man. man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was a lot of fun, and, and surprisingly, uh, I was I wasn't as hot as I thought I was gonna be. I thought I was gonna be like you know because I'm wearing this like tight suit thing. Yeah, like yeah. I thought like this like morph suit. And I then thought, there's like the lights. Yeah, but it was it was. Like I mean, I was people. I was hot, but like an average level of hot. I was not, hot, like, but like not cool. sexually attractive. <laughs> yeah i was i was fucking exuding. i might have been the most sexually attractive mermaid man you've ever seen i mean yeah you've seen the dude that i'm stacked up against he's he's yeah he he's, ain't looking that great no he's looking like evil. Uh, evil he's looking like he's retired oh hell yeah he's retired <laughs> i actually because i was barnacle boy one halloween and i was uh bro when i packed my suitcase i remember seeing like when i was leaving for la i remember seeing the barnacle boy costume mm. And the the costumes actually were like a last like a last second thing. Like I'm talking the day of like we posted on Instagram was like yo guys like bring costumes because we at costume first, party. I didn't want to do like costumes. Or it's not that I didn't want to do it. I just didn't know that we were going to do costumes. Mm. So I didn't pack a costume. And then I was like I wanted to do Barnacle Boy because I just I had already like I I did it already and I was like okay I could like vibe with this you know. And I went to, uh, what was it? Spirit Halloween. I was going to say, probably Spirit Halloween. I went to it's Spirit like Halloween. the only place anyone goes. And they were like, no, we don't have Barnacle Boy. And then I went to another one. They didn't have it. And I was like, if I would have just brought it with me. But then they had, uh, they were like, we got the next best thing. Which, Barnacle Boy is is the, the sidekick. So Mermaid Man is is the, the he's large and he's in like charge. He's the better one. He's definitely large. 
<laughs> yeah, I was, dude. I was built just like him. Bro. I like, I, I had a picture side by side. I was like, bro, I am literally Merman Man. This is, this is lit. It was cool. It was a cool show. It was fun. But tour is gonna be cool. But literally, like, you know, what I try to do during the week is, I don't know, I, I might have mentioned this, but like the way I prepare for the podcast mm. is I'll just like live my day, and then I just like if something interesting happens that I want to bring up, I just put it in my notes, and then I write it down. Well, this week it was just like all this bullshit going on and I just didn't think of – to. I had things happening, but I didn't write it down. Right. So now yeah. it's kind of like you're like, oh, man, I got to try to think of those on the spot. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. But like we're – It's like so, when I go to therapy and my therapist is like, so how's it been going? And I'm like, I didn't write anything down like you told me to. Right, yeah. It's – dude, writing shit down is so, so key. Like it's I just key, I, but it's so out of the way for me. Really? It's like you gotta take out your phone. I mean, I'm not. I don't. <laughs> I don't have my phone on. You all gotta the time. unlock your phone. Dude, you gotta go to your notes. App. My phone's oh my like in God. my pocket, and I'll forget I have it. Really? Like, yeah. Yeah. Like Makes when sense. when you text me today, I panicked because I was what? like, "What's that noise?" And I was like, "Oh, my phone." Because oh. like I normally also have it on silent, and I had it on today. So I was like trying to figure out. I was like, "What the fuck I'm, is that noise?" <laughs> I'm on the other side of it where. I put my phone down and plug it into the charger. And then in like three minutes, I am like, where the fuck did I put my phone? Where, where's my phone? <laughs> like, a, I thought you were going to be like, why aren't you charged yet? Oh, no, no, no. I'm, I do that shit too, though. I get, yeah. I get a little disappointed at how slow my iPhone feels like it charges. I, for some reason, so my desk, uh, it's like, it, well, we used to use it. Remember that the desk that yeah, was at yeah. the old place? Um, It has like... I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a mixture of the cord that I have or this desk is just like a super desk. But like when I plug my phone in, it goes from like zero, like it goes to like 1% to like 50% in, I'm not even exaggerating, like 10 minutes. Yeah, I think it's my cord. But then it I've dies. Got like a crappy ass cord or some shit. Like my phone like dies way more than it used to. And I think that's it's just normal. Old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just it can't it can't uh, perform like it did. Like I would like I would leave and now. A pill for that. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Could yeah. you imagine iPhone pills? But then would you have to take the pill? No, the phone does. The phone has Some, to take it somehow. Yeah, I've actually funny you said that. I've been on this. The uh, been doing the vitamins and supplements yeah. shit. How's that going? So I shitting your brains out. No, no. Well, I feel like things are kind of leveled off. Like um, mm. I'm definitely like. No, I'm not. I'm not anymore. I was kind of in the beginning because one of them was just like a. It's kind of like a cleanser. Yeah, like a. But like they say they, you know, it's weird because they say that like you can't really notice or feel any type of like anything for like a few months. But also like how much of that is just like placebo? Like you take like a fucking vitamin C or like a multivitamin, and then like you're just like, yeah, I feel great. You know, but it's yeah, like you know, all of a sudden I feel bad. I don't have that effect. I don't know if it's like a mental thing for some people. Like that's why some people don't have that. But like I'll take vitamins and then I'll just be like, wow, I still feel like shit. Yeah. No, I don't. I'm definitely not the type of person that's like, yo, I feel fucking great from this. Like, cause there's, are you vibing right now? Cause I just, I took so much, I took like five Vita Joys this morning and I'm (laughs) vibing. Dude, do you remember when I told you about that guy from the gym a while back? Yeah. Yeah. He actually was one of those dudes that like was telling me his whole like vitamins and supplement like regimen. Yeah. And I mean, I like. Bro, I can't handle when I have, I have to take five pills so I don't die. I can't imagine taking like eight pills just just to get like swole. For a vibe. (laughs) Yeah. Just, just so I could be like. I'm strong. Yeah. No, he was like saying all this, talking about all this. He's like, do you take this bro? Do you take this bro? I'm like, I didn't even know. What is like, what the fuck? Like. You know, like, he's just like, well, you got to take zinc because of this. And then you got to take uh, potassium because I know you're not eating enough bananas. And you got to, and I'm like, bro, I can't, whoa. You don't know my life. Maybe I'm downing bananas like a, like Donkey Kong. Maybe. Like, you don't know. Like, yeah. Maybe I just go through a bushel of bananas a day. You he don't... just looked at me and was like, this motherfucker doesn't take potassium. I can <laughs> just see it on him. You're not on your vitamin game, bro. It, it is crazy though. Like people at the gym, like will size you up crazy like when when i was like right when i was like, are, like they, are they good at it uh, you up? like can they look at you and be like okay yeah you don't take enough of this okay and they're actually right so one time and this was when i first started working out when i was like uh easily a buck heavier than i am now i was it was a hundred pounds ago 
I I was going to the fucking gym and I was like going into the sauna. So I had no shirt on and I was standing in the locker room and there's like, they have like mirrors everywhere, you know? Mm-hmm. So I was just like looking at my fucking stomach and shit and just trying to figure shit out. This dude comes up to me and he points at me and he goes, he's like shaking his fingers. He's like, water weight. I was like, what? And I didn't know, I didn't know shit about anything. He's just like, you got water weight. I could see it. I could, I could see it. I'm like, which titty is hanging? Like, what? Which one? What? What do you? You know, like he's just. Are you it, calling me a waterbed? <laughs> he basically was, but he was being cool. But it's just like it's like that passive aggressive kind of like, you, you, you know, it's ba- he basically said like, well, you're fat as fuck, but the the because there is different, right? It's like there's difference. Like you could tell like that a lot of my shit was like water weight because you could be like fat where like if you touch your stomach it's like hard and then there's fat when it's like you touch it and it's just like a, you're touching a bowl of jello like yeah. a water bed and when he said that i was like oh interesting i never really thought about it like that and then sure enough i like started um i started working out and i started to notice how much i was sweating and then i was like yeah this this makes sense and then i did that thing one time i think i told you about this a while ago i bought one of those things where you put it on your yourself and it's like a it's like a garbage bag basically. Oh, you like the sauna suits? Yeah. Dude, so those things are funny because they make you look like a walking trash pile. Yeah. And it So there's like so people are, you know, normally like, "Oh, you shouldn't do that because it's just you're just depriving your you're, you're basically like stringing all the water out of your body and then you just replenish yourself anyway so you're not like actually burning fat, which is true. There is an element of truth to that because you're you're burning you're not burning like if you if you sit in a sauna with a fucking trash bag on you you're bu- you're not burning fat you're just releasing Sweating. water weight yeah but it's good to like round off like goals like so if you were trying to get to your 10 10 pound like loss you could you could do the water weight thing and then drop like three or four pounds like just from water weight so but you it, might get it back as soon as you drink water ex- exactly that's exactly what happens so people do it a lot like i remember when um I had some homies that were in wrestling in high school mm-hmm. and they would run with these bags on them and then they would go outside and they, they would, bleh, they would dump bleh, gross. They would dump the fucking water out and they were sitting with like a fucking, like a, a pool like pregnant of water. Yeah. Just, yeah. Their water breaks and it's just fucking, <laughs> I was like, Oh yeah. I just released 10, 10 pounds of water weight. Excuse me. You know, sorry. Excuse me, I inked. Yeah, so that's uh that's yeah, I don't know. I stopped using that shit though. I don't like I I did it for like I did it for like a week and then I kind of like, you know, I lost some water weight or whatever, but it was again, it's just like that fluctuation shit. So it's not really much, but if anything, it's doing the the um low carb has been like the best help for me. Um cuz it's, you know, you're doing low carb. I'm an avid enjoyer of carbs. Yeah, but you don't eat that much, regardless. I feel like even yeah, though... and I don't really. Eat, I I honestly don't even eat that many carbs. Like when I eat, like we talked about that. I, it's kind right. of like my diet's changed to a point where I'm like, I'll go snack on like meats and cheeses or mm-hmm. like, yeah, pickles. Pickles are great. Pickles are a zero calorie snack basically. They're almost negative calories. Because you got to work for it. <laughs> No, vinegar can help with breaking down fats and shit. Okay, okay. And they're like drenched in vinegar. So yeah. So there are some people that will actually count pickles as like a, a negative calorie snack because they're essentially just a cucumber in water. So if like I eat 100 shit, pickles... You lose 100 pounds. Okay. No, See, that makes don't, sense. Don't do that. No. Dude, you turn into a pickle. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not a pickle guy uh at all oh well do you you in like do you like um do okay. you bye it was great knowing you um I'm, this isn't gonna work it's such a funny thing to be like to draw the line at it's like a pickles <laughs> you know it's like yeah man i don't know pickles if you can't eat them if you can't eat pickles i don't think you could be a part of my life it's like i don't i don't know if if like a lot of people really like, like pickles. pickles that much i there are people i think there's 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 three kinds of like people right there's okay. the, i don't like pickles mm-hmm. there's the people that like eat pickles on things like they'll eat them on their burgers whatever yeah and there's people like me 
I'll just sit at my computer with like three fucking like pickles just on a plate and just like and like eat those fuckers like yeah like I'm eating a vegetable. See, I'm not. I'm like somewhere in the middle because you won't ever see me buying a pickle anywhere. Uh, I'm not gonna buy a jar of them or a single pickle. If a guy offers me a pickle on the side of the street, I'm not gonna take it. Never take it though. Yeah, that's that's just a rule. Um, say no to pickles. But like I do. Like, well, say no to street pickles. Street they gotta, pickles. If, they're, if they're wrapped up, like if you get them from a pickle dispensary, they're safe. A pickle dispensary. <laughs> hey, could yo, I got imagine? pickles 50 a gram. Yeah, could you imagine the whole store? Like, the, the, it probably exists. An entire pickle. store dedicated to like different. I'm trying to pull up to the pickle farm. Yeah, like pickles, but they're like pickled. Because, you know, they have like the, I've said pickles so many times, it doesn't sound like a real word. Mm. But you know how they have like those ones you could buy at like the truck stations or the gas stations and it's like, you know, like it's just that one. sugar pickle or like yeah. flaming pickles mm-hmm. or like it's like a flavor of yeah. some kind. Like yeah. you imagine it's like some exotic pickle boutique. It's yeah. like lavender pickles and we've got honey pickles and we've got they must know, wild have flower that. pickles. Like there's got to be a thing, right? There's got to be someone out there that's crazy enough to Yeah. Well, when I see that place. when I see those like exotic pickles like the you know, whatever you just mentioned, the, like the, like the, the spicy ones. ones. Yeah. Like when I see that, I'm like, okay, so there's like a fan base for like pickles then. Oh, I'm part of it. Yes. Right. Right. You got like the membership card and shit. Like you're signed I am up. a platinum member. Yeah. Platinum pickle member. That's not yeah. me. I, I'm a PPM. If I, if I get a burger and there's pickles on it, I'm not going to be like, okay, let me take them off. I don't care if there's if there's a couple pickles on my shit, but if it's like to the point where it's it's a if there was a pie graph of what I was eating and pickles was like eighty percent of that, eh, then I probably so you wouldn't enjoy dill pickle soup. No, because it sounds like pickles is what the whole point of it is. It's just pickles, yeah, it's right? Yeah, it's honestly kind of good though. Like it's like a creamy soup that's got pickle chunks in it. It's like hot dogs, right? Like you can't like I I don't okay. That one time we got did you hot dogs. Pickle on there? I I did actually. Okay. But which is weird. I don't know what it was. I think I was just so hungry. I just didn't care. But if I ever order a hot dog and there's like that that long dill pickle on the side, mm, I normally the just, long boy. I normally just throw it out. Damn. Just give it to me next time. Save them. Put them right. in a Ziploc bag. Bring them over here. I'll mail it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? Hey, we got some pickles. We got some fucking twelve mail, day old mail order pickles. Only got lost in USPS. With so they got some mold on them now. What's like the shelf life of a pickle? Like you have to put Pretty them in the long. fridge. No, nah, I don't. Re- I don't refrigerate my pickles. No, no. Okay. I open that sucker and I leave it on the counter. Even just opened. Yeah, like I'll open the jar. I'll uh-huh. take a couple out. I'll eat them. Close the jar. Leave it on the counter. What if you left the jar open though? Well, I mean, I don't know. I'd imagine it wouldn't be. Uh, now I hear. I this. have dogs, so I imagine there'd be dog hair in there. This is here's a good thing. This will probably gross people out. Do you drink the pickle juice? Uh, I used to. Do you remember? I th- I have a faint memory of this. Yeah, so. I used to. I used to take the pickle juice and put it into one of those Gatorade bottles that had the little twist top squirt cap, and yeah. I would just like drink it. I was like, I was people wouldn't. would people wouldn't know it was pickle juice, and I wouldn't tell them. And they would think <laughs> they're my about little to drink, pickle like, secret. <laughs> yeah, she said, hey, don't tell nobody, but they would think <laughs> they're about to drink Gatorade, and then they yeah. just be like. Bleh! Yeah, I mean... But the thing is, I, I like drinking pickle juice because... Dude, my nose, which I do have, is so itchy. <laughs> Anyone wants to know there's a nose. You Mr. know what? C I got a kind of itchy nose situation going on. I don't know if it's like allergies right now or some shit going on because it's getting warmer, you know? Yeah. Like, no, I, 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 I just thought... Just when you said that, I had a little... I had a little... Uh, a little who's tickle. It, a little who's it, what's it stuck in my nose. And I was like, huh. Interesting. Yeah, it's just like something Something today. My nose Something's has been in the scratchy air. today. It's all the pickles. It's got to be the Yeah. It's the pickles. But no, like I, I'll, I, I used to, it's funny because when I used to get really bad, I used to get really bad leg cramps. And um, I thought you were going to say something like I used to get really bad pickle rash from eating so much pickles, so much pickle no, juice. I used to get like really bad leg cramps and that's what I would do is I'd drink some pickle juice. Cause that and that helps. S- supposedly everyone says it helps. I don't know if it's a placebo thing. Like you drink it and then you're like, okay. I'm all pickled up. And yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. My pickle bar is like full, so I'm yeah. good. Um, That's a hell of a bar. You got to really, yeah. It's like, how many pickles do you need to eat or drink, I guess in your case, to reach full pickle? You're juicing a pickle. Full max uh, I just pickle. I don't know why I just thought of that, juicing a pickle. <laughs> juicing a pickle? You yeah. could do that, right? I would just be pickle juice. <laughs> right, What's right. the point? I mean, it's pickle puree at that point. 
Right? Yeah, because it's probably this... it's probably pulpy and juicy enough that it would get in there. Yeah, and then you'd you'd be like, mm. it, it's like one of those things where it's 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 so niche to be into pickles that I feel like people who do like them like They're love them. them. Yeah, yeah, that's what yeah. I mean. There's like the three people. There's like the I just it's on my burger. It's yeah. it's on my sandwich, but then there's like the. You know, we've got like gotta three, have we've it. got like three jars of pickles stocked up. We're yeah. sitting there with our oh. two or three pickles. Like, nom, 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 okay, nom, nom. have you ever ordered like or bought whatever the the big like those big Fuck. jars? Yes, I got that as Christmas one 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 year. What the hell, Mrs. Suit got me a. I was sitting next to the tree. She 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 slid over. This, this one's for you, pickle boy. Yeah, she slid over the thing. I looked at it. I, I was like, what "This could be." I was like, "This is a jar of pickles." And she's like, "You got to open it." And I was like, "You don't understand, Bader. That's my thing. When I enter a room, I can instantly notice every pickle." <laughs> what? <laughs> Have you never seen that episode? When they're on the plane, and he was like, how'd you know that was there, Joe? And he's like, that's my thing, Bader. I'm in a wheelchair. I notice wheels. Every time I enter a room, I notice every wheel instantly. That is so funny. So I, it's like, there's like an episode where that happened, so that's like the joke. You I like, enter a room, and I, I can recognize every pickle instantly. Hey, Bader. Hey, Bader. Hey, Bader, there's a... Hey. There's a pickle. <laughs> that's, a, that's a jar of pickles, Bader. <laughs> Now, like, was it actually a big? It was, and it was, it was, it was the, wrapped it was like in the big Walmart, the the like gallon. Imagine size getting that jar. and not knowing instantly that it was pickles. Like you know, right. if you got it's a, a jar of mayonnaise, oh, it's pickles. No, you know for what the sure. Fuck else is that? Gonna... It's a glass jar and it's sw- it's like swishing, yeah, like... swashing around. <laughs> I guess it could be a. Jar Did you of shake like it next to your eggs. ear? What could this be? Shake it next to your ear. You ever had pickled eggs? Yeah. yeah. Wait, wait, wait. That's deviled eggs, right? Same shit. No, no, you literally, okay, so you literally take, like, a hard-boiled egg, and you put it in with, like, like, it depends on what you put it in, but it's, like, they're pickled, so you put it with, like, vinegar, salt, okay. pickling spices. I had like to, because that's, like, an hors d'oeuvre. That's, like, that's, like, something, you go to enough, enough parties, you're going to get offered a, a pickled egg, right? I think I, I must, I must have. Because I, what I, what I'll do is I'll, I'll buy the pickles, and then when I eat all the pickles out of the jar, I'll put some deviled eggs in there, and seal it up, and give them a little shake, put it put it down and set it and like like put, i'll put it in the fridge when there's eggs in there uh-huh and then i let them sit for a while and it just you, soaks up the pickle you could juice. like pickle anything really right yeah because it's just submerging that said thing in a in, pickle in jar some kind of well in some kind of pickling liquid you ever pickled something outrageous no i've made double pickle though where it's just you literally <laughs> take like another <laughs> what wait what is it called okay double pickling is when you have the pickles you've eaten them there's pickle juice left in the jar and you put fresh cucumbers back in there and then you let them like repickle, but it's like it's different because wait, wait, wait. It's not the 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 solution that's left isn't strong enough. So it's like this crazy like cucumber pickle hybrid that's like it's still cucumbery, but also would you pickly. believe if I told you right now that I didn't know that a cucumber and a pickle are the same thing? I had no idea. I'd have a hard time believing that, but yeah, it's, the pickle is just a cucumber that's been pickled. Really? I said that like 20 minutes ago when we were first started talking about this. You did? Yeah. Oh, where was I? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think you... <laughs> I guess I checked out. Oh, wait, never mind. It's We've only been recording 24 minutes. So like, Did you mention it before minutes. we this started I was recording? talking about how they're negative calories. In this recording. I was like, yeah, they're negative calories because it's just like cucumbers and vinegar. <laughs> I thought you were saying it's just like cucumbers no 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 i mean they are literally cucumbers and vinegar that's what a pickle is whoa yeah a cucumber is a pickle that just changed my fucking life you're like all of a sudden i think i like them i think well i don't like cucumbers oh well maybe that's why you don't like pickles (laughs) i don't know man cucumbers I would probably actually I would I would <laughs> double leave. Can't do the same bit twice. I would probably rather eat pickles than cucumbers. Actually, I don't really? like, like cucumbers. Not even like a or, salad or anything. I order cucumbers to be taken off. <laughs> I don't know why I said it. Like, I, I order you, like, you I to take these cucumbers off. No, I thought it was gonna be I order my salads, and then he went I order cucumbers, cucumbers to be taken off. And of then I was my gonna salad. be like. You order cucumbers. I make an executive order. Could you imagine salad restaurant? No cucumber. Let me get a plate of cucumbers, and then they bring it to you, and you're like, "These? (laughs) 
don't. Get. I don't like these. I wanted you to know this is what they look like, and I don't like them, so don't put them in my salad. I can order them all so that when I ask for a salad, they they're can't. Like they're put, out. Yeah, because I ordered yeah. them. Let that's let a that's every, a big let me get baller every move. Cucumber. Yeah, in the tri-state area. <laughs> put them in my trunk. Close them and f- drive them off a fucking cliff because I don't want me or anyone I love to fucking tr- ugh. cucumbers are gross. Really? Yeah. I I I I get a weird like hankering for them sometimes. That's crazy. Like that like, is I'll actually just, like I'll just take straight up cucumber. I'll peel it. I'll chop it into like you know the slices that thick, yeah. and then I'll just sit there and let's put some salt on them. Just, um, that I'm is psychotic. Like, yeah, that's crazy. A little bit. I'm kind of psychotic. That's like that, wow, Mister Suit. Pickle arc, C- yeah. cucumber arc. That's... Cucumber pickle arc. I don't know. Um, you I know. just I think it's interesting. You don't like cucumbers, or well, I mean, I don't know. I know people that don't like. It. What is it about it? Is it just like taste? it just tastes like nothing? Because it's, it's yeah, it's just water. It's it, like but hard it, water. It, it like tastes like a worser version of nothing. That's all I can well, explain. What, what about cucumbers? celery though? Because celery is just stringy Hate water. It. Okay. Hate. So you don't like solidified water? We're getting somewhere. How do you feel about ice? I. <laughs> Ice is good because it just tastes like nothing, and it's like you could crunch it, and it's like cucumbers to me. No, sorry, not cucumbers. Uh, what's the other one called? Celery. Yeah. You like celery too? Eh, when I that know, one I'm not a big fan of. I'll eat it. Like I'll cut it up and put it in like soup and shit. Yeah, and like cook that, it and stuff. Again, it's the same shit. It's like if if I eat it and it basically dissolves in my mouth. Like, right, like it was like cooked down. It, or then something. I d- then I don't care, and like I'm sure, like because I've I've definitely had plenty of soups. With uh, celery, but yeah, like chicken noodle soup has celery in it. What I've realized, like growing up, if there was something given to me that in order for me to like it, I had to put like tons of ranch on it, I probably won't. I probably don't like it because if there's not, did you ever ranch up, peanut you ever butter? Do, yeah, like peanut butter. That's a big. I one couldn't with do celery, it because like all it because to me, all it tastes like is peanut butter with a little shitty extra like random. Water. Yeah, like. I don't see the the celery taste like water connection. Well, it's not that it tastes like water. It's just that it's like really wet. But like a lot of people say celery tastes like nothing. And I No, I it definitely disag- tastes like something. It tastes like celery. Like it tastes it's, like celery. It tastes yeah. fucking it, it most of the time it just tastes like a, I don't know, it's it's like a little earthy. Like I like vegetables. Like I like uh I could do Brussels sprouts. I could do mm, Those are delicious. I could do um broccoli. I could do cauliflower. I could do string bean. I could do uh, whatever. I can do string bean. I can do green bean. I can do. I like bean green. bean. Uh, yeah, yeah. I yeah bean squared. I like bean squared. I like bean bean bean. Uh, but you know, That's cubed. Some bean cubed. Sorry, but some of them, man, are just are just too. What much. about uh, like uh, eggplant? So, mm, in simple terms, no. But do you eat like? Would you eat it like? If, like if it's cooked? Like have you ever had like the eggplant parmesan? I've had that. Like, like I've. I've seen that served places and had the option to get it, and I just would rather not. I've had that, as in, like, I've literally looked at it from across the room and said, no. <laughs> uh, if I had to pick between, uh, like, chicken parmesan and eggplant parmesan. Do a chicken parmesan? Yeah. Chicken parm's pretty delicious, though. Mm-hmm. So, wait, okay, so wait, what is your, what's your favorite vegetable? Favorite vegetable? Yeah. Uh, Can anyone else uh, tell we don't know, we don't have anything to <laughs> <laughs> that we don't have anything to talk about. Yeah, half an hour on pickles. I'm actually enjoying this conversation though. What is your favorite? Half vegetable? an hour on pickles though. That's pretty. That wasn't that... on pickles. We also talked about vitamins and your weird gym bro. <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe, maybe it was only. Sorry, maybe it was only twenty minutes on pickles. It was about. It was about fifteen. <laughs> it was. It was like eight minutes and thirty-five seconds, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah, but I'm count. not counting. Favorite yeah, vegetable. Favorite vegetable. You're not getting out of this. Is it corn? <sighs> Can we even call that a vegetable at this point? Yes, that's a vegetable. Um, I do like corn. Uh, shit, that might be it. Cause like, what? I mean, remind me. What else? I, what else is there? Cause I don't really like tomatoes. Those like, are a fruit. Okay. Okay. I mean, that's a that's a hot take. Yeah. I'll get flamed in the comments. Tomatoes it's, not actually a fruit. It, it's just like it's kind of it's a hybrid, right? It's I don't remember. I'm not gonna claim to know. Well, no, I don't. I just I, remember growing up, people were always like, it's a fruit because it has seeds. And I'm like, okay, right. but so does cucumber. And then someone was like, well, then I guess that's a fruit too. And I was like, what about bananas? Bananas are a fruit. Okay. I swear to God, I thought <laughs> you were going to be like, 
Would you believe me if I said that I thought a banana was a vegetable? I mean, I could believe it if you if you would have said right now, like you know, actually, like like bananas, like yeah, they're actually vegetables. I'd be like, oh yeah, no, they've got they, seeds, right? So that's all that co- constitutes as something being there's, a fruit. There's like more to it, I think, but I think it's like the way it germinates in seeds. And I'm stuff. just gonna claim corn. There's onions. Onions are a vegetable. Potatoes. Those are a root vegetable. Okay. Potatoes are all right. Okra. Okay. Okra is a vegetable. Uh, celery, lettuce, arugula, romaine. Uh, I'm just gonna claim carrots. I'm gonna say corn. I think corn I'm gonna say like corn. Favorite, dude. Like it's almost cheating because grill it's, that or barbecue. Yeah. It. Oh, you could. So there's good. yeah. I I uh, growing up, my family would always clown me because I like loved corn. Like that's but, why. Okay, I, like, what's your level of loving corn? The, my level of loving corn. Because uh, I might, I might have to be psychopath topping you on this. I mean, I have at at home. I have a eight foot um, portrait of a of like a fucking husk of corn overlooking my mantle. So you don't even have a mantle. <laughs> um, no. Oh, wait, I'm, yes, you do. Because you have a, you have a fireplace, so you do have a mantle. Mm-hmm. No, I uh, I guess. Like I okay, look. I get a hankering for corn. I'll go into the pantry. Okay. I'll get the can opener, crack open a can of corn, and I'll just eat that sucker right out of it. Like I like. No, that's corn. normal. I do like. I, I do find it more satisfying to eat corn from the cob. Well, yeah, but if I don't have like corn on the cob, cobless house, corn. Eat it out of a can if I can. It's 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 rare that I'll like. I'm not. I, you don't. It's not something you're gonna find me doing on a on a Tuesday evening, I but I do it on a Tuesday, Wednesday. I'll put salt in there. I was like, oh, okay, no, yeah, I, I got a problem, bro. I'll just you like lo- you like eating like random shit from cans. I've heard. I, th- I just like eating random shit. Like I'll just, dude, I'm like a pregnant woman sometimes. Mm. I'll just be like, all of a sudden, you I'll get a, like, re- a really like outrageous, outrageous craving. Yeah, I'll just sit there and eat a whole jar of olives. Right. Yeah, olives are a no-no for me. That oh, shit tastes like fucking. God, I need to find a new host. Ol- <laughs> olives taste like what feet smell like. No, that's blue cheese. There's a lot of. A lot of things smell like feet, feet. and taste like what feet smell like, and yeah. it's upsetting. Actually, Ol- olives are just like. I don't even know how motherfuckers put that in the martini. Them. You ha- stuff them with cheese. You stuff them with blue cheese. Stuff them with jalapenos. You know, you pimento. Like they get stuffed with shit. I mean, like green olives, like the the green olives in a jar and stuff. Actually, I did go to. Uh, I guess I do have something I could talk about since we're on the topic of kind of like food or whatever. I went to this place uh, by my house uh, last week. Oh, it was my birthday. That yeah. Why are we talking about that? Because I because like you know I didn't really do I didn't really do much. I just kind of kicked back. I think we're gonna celebrate it uh, next week, just like mm. and actually properly like go out and blah blah blah. But um, <clears throat> went to this place. And it was a winery. Um, hmm. It's a, it's a restaurant and winery. Okay. And like, so I'm not like a big wine fan. Like, it's, I'm not like you know. Oh, let's go get some wine. Uh, I don't think I've ever. I think that might have been just now the first mm. time I ever said if that. If you're not bringing me a '59 Cabernet Sauvignon, why are you here, <laughs> Garcon? So I went to this place and like, you know, they offered complimentary wine, and I was just trying different wines, hmm. and like. That's how they get you, though, because I started thinking, wow, this is so nice of them for uh, bringing wine in. And then I'm like, oh, because it's a winery and they're just going to want me to buy the wine. But they didn't like it's not like after, you know, we closed out. You closed out and they're like, and that'll be six thousand dollars for all the (laughs) wine you tried. No, they like because I I made sure, you know, me. I'm like, hey, is this on the house? It's it's free, though, right? (laughs) Yes. And so were the last 20. You've asked every time. Yeah, I almost uh, asked them for more, but then I feel like they would have been like, "No, you're gonna have to start paying." Um, but it was, a, you know, it was a cool. Going was... with a different mustache. <laughs> yeah. What did you decide? Do you like red or white? Well, I've always kind of le- leaned towards uh, the white wines. I like those better. Mm. Um, Dry or sweet? I think that's what I was trying to figure out there. Mm. Um, there were some wild ones I was trying because I I didn't. Cause I like, I know that wine is like a thing where it's like, you know, people who are into it are into it. Like when, yep. so we walk in, my aunt was very into it. Really? Oh yeah. So we walk in and it's like, there's a whole bar, but it's like just wine. So there's people like at the bar with wine glasses. I'm like, well, this is weird. Cause it's, I've never, I didn't know that it was just like 
motherfuckers just are like, I'll, I'll have wine with some wine, please. Yeah, uh, can I get a serving a wine with, with a side of wine? Yeah, and, and a little more to wine. Drink. I'll have a wine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I walk in. I'm I'm looking. I see everyone sitting around. I sit down, and then they they brought out some wild shit though. There was like uh, blueberry uh, horse meat. There was. <laughs> It start. <laughs> no, it was just it was just blueberry, blueberry something or other. There was another one yeah. that was almond, uh, you know, almond fucking blah 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 whatever. But it tasted like cookies, like, hmm. and I'm thinking, wow, wine is like you could really just because when I think of wine, I think white wine and i think red wine and then yeah, i no, think there's, that's it <laughs> there's an expansive amount of like different like leg and sweetness i'm just and... not a fan of the the uh the way that like for me like after some like after i have some wine like all i do is have a headache really without like it's like i i feel it's the... like you got you got a hung over and you didn't do anything <laughs> yeah like like it's like okay so this is what people like no that's not how it is for me really no, yeah, I, I, cause I drink, I like red wines, and I okay. generally like dry red wines. Uh-huh. Um, but I'll drink like, I mean, it doesn't matter. But I, I, I tend to like like Cabernet Sauvignon, um, is mm-hmm. like one of my favorites. And then when I'm cooking, I cook with red wine a lot. Interesting. And there's an Italian wine I really like that I'll butcher the pronunciation of if I even try. But it's very delicious, and I just finally went through the bottle of it because I only use it when I cook. But right. It's like a very nice, like uh, rich Italian wine that I put in like my soups and my sauces and everything. Mm-hmm. So good. Yeah, it was it was definitely a, a I'm pl- the kind of, I'm in the kitchen and I'm like, all right, a little wine for the sauce, a little wine for the chef. <laughs> <laughs> What's that one? You ever seen that one clip where that that lady like pours she's like in a shot of vodka and she just like pours the entire thing in there? Just like Yeah. Um I don't know. Wine is interesting. It was a plot twist for me to to do that. Like I don't, I don't. It was such I'm, like a, a random side quest. It's super side quest. Like I'm not like, a, yeah. Let me let me get your finest wine. Let me, uh, um, yeah. Let me. I'll take. I'll partake. I, I was like comparing shit to like. I was like, this tastes like a high noon. Like this tastes like a white claw. You know, it's like, so. wow. This one tastes a lot like um, wine. <laughs> that's yeah that was pretty much what i yeah. is this made of grapes it was, tastes like grapes i was trying to do the thing you know you smell it you swirl it you look yeah. for the legs or whatever i'm like right. looking i'm like yeah i'm like pretending like i know what the fuck Damn, i'm doing this one's dummy thick <laughs> yeah yeah i didn't know what i was doing caked up that'd be a fire wine name caked up mm-hmm. i think they do have like a like a birthday wine or something mm-hmm. it's like a it's funny because one i like set the reservations myself so like and i it said like special occasion i was like i just put birthday and they they came by and they were like happy birthday and i like completely forgot and i was like what do you know (laughs) who's feeding you information and i was like oh wait it was me the whole time i outed myself yeah um but yeah i don't know man interesting we actually dude 40 minutes in we, we actually cruised through yeah, I haven't even gotten to talk about my new pasta machine. Oh, so it's yeah, it's an entire food conversation episode. This is just a food day. Yeah, yeah, but that's fine. Everybody likes food. It's a good good topic. All right, what what? So you got a pasta machine? I did. I got a pasta machine. I was up. Uh, I I've been having to take. I've been having to take Ambien to help me sleep. Okay. Because I've been having problems sleeping from stress. Right. And I don't know if you've ever taken Ambien. No. Um, it's just, it, it's like a sleeping aid, but it's really fucking strong. Like you'll take one and it's not even like melatonin. If you ever use melatonin, yeah, yeah it'll yeah. be some shit like taking an hour or an hour and a half before bed. No, you take an Ambien and <laughs> hold on. Wait, pause. I just had to say, I thought it's so funny that you're like, yeah, I, I literally bought a pasta machine. So I'm taking Ambien. There's, no, there's a backstory though. Hold on. <laughs> okay. This is the funny okay. thing. We got to get through shit. the Ambien to get to the right. pasta machine. Well, I do this shit where I'll be laying in bed and I'll like be on Amazon. Right. And then I've got some money. Right. And I'll be like looking at stuff on Amazon when I'm tired. Dude, that was a whole nother level. Like I woke up the next morning and it was like, your pasta machine is shipped. And I was like, my Ambien, what? Ambien Mr. Suit made a good choice. 
Well, because like it's like crazy. Like I, I, I uh, the first night I took it, I actually took it when I was downstairs because I thought it was gonna be like melatonin. Okay. And I didn't. I almost didn't make it upstairs. Right. Like that shit kicks in in like twenty minutes. Right. And you're like, so I'm laying there. I'm watching YouTube. Mm-hmm. And I'm watching this channel, and uh-huh. they do like chef reviews and stuff. And they're reviewing a pasta machine. Right. And I'm like, whoa, that's so fucking fire. Like, I would love to have a pasta machine. And yep. I started, like, okay. reaching for my phone, like, trying to find it and, like, looking on Amazon. And they didn't have that machine uh, on Amazon anymore. They discontinued it. Mm. But I saw Emerald Lagasse has a pasta machine. And I was like, I love Emerald. Bye. And then, like, just I just fell asleep immediately after hitting the buy button. What's – uh? and it showed up the next morning. Uh, like two days later, actually, because it was like three in the morning when I ordered it. So technically, the next day. So what was the price? Uh, it was like a hundred bucks, which okay. is about the going rate. They're normally like ninety nine bucks, so now, from like ninety nine to two hundred. For the folks at home, mm-hmm. what exactly is a pasta machine? Also, a machine that makes pasta. For me, what is a pasta machine? Because I have no fucking clue. So you put in flour. Okay. You put in eggs, water, oil, and salt, mm-hmm. and then it has these little beaters, and it just like rotates and spins, and it just mixes and kneads the flour and salt and makes like a dough. Yeah. And then generally what happens is after it's done that for like six minutes or something, it'll like start going the other direction, which the beaters then feed the dough towards the front, mm-hmm. and there's like a little extrusion thingy. Right. So it'll take the dough and it pushes it through like a little plate to make like shapes, like a Play-Doh machine when you were a kid. Right. So like this one. So today I made I made some penne pasta. That's what I was doing when you showed up. Right. And uh, I was just it just makes them into little little itty bitty tubes of pasta like mm-hmm. like macaroni and cheese pasta noodles. And I was just cutting them off and yeah, you, know, you just cook the pasta, make it. Oh, so delicious. Huh. Thing is, I already have like my KitchenAid has um the pasta roller. And then I can like roll it real thin, and then I got like the cutters to make like the fettuccine, spaghetti, all that fun stuff, right. like lasagna noodles. Um, but I didn't have anything that can extrude, so I couldn't do like penne's or uh, certain types of flat noodles. I couldn't do. Um, I couldn't do the udons or spaghetti, like round spaghetti or angel hair. So I was like, damn, I really wanted a pasta extruder and. Sure enough. I mean, I could have bought one for my KitchenAid, but the funny thing is the extruder for the KitchenAid is almost the same damn price as this machine that will mix it for me and do everything for me. Mm. So it's like, and it's all dishwasher safe. All this comes apart, goes right in the dishwasher. You know you're an adult when you can spend three minutes talking about how great a pasta machine is (laughs) because it's dishwasher safe. (laughs) Yeah, when that shit's dishwasher shit safe, yeah, it's a... It's like a... It comes in clutch. Definitely. And it's just like you just rinse it and then... Yeah, it's like how I feel about the air fryer. Yeah. You could just throw that bitch in there. Bada bing, bada boom. I honestly, I just hand wash it. It's quicker <clears throat> and it's easier, but... You Sometimes know. you just don't want to. You know, funny enough, I actually... The other day I went to that... I went to that... I went back to Woodman's. Mm-hmm. And uh, the, the big grocery store, right? huge, yeah, big. It's, it's, I think it got bigger actually since the last time. Oh, I went it there. grew a little, <laughs> yeah, I think getting, so. Yeah, it's growing. Um, growing boy, but uh, it's uh, you know, I got some shit and I got those fucking dense ass uh, sausage sausages again. Oh, uh, yeah, which yeah. they're like okay, but still on your sausage kick, yeah. I've been more like into like chicken, like I. I like uh, my. I think my favorite thing right now is doing drumsticks. It mm. it just it's super convenient. It's easy to make. They come with their own built-in handle. Exactly, that's uh, absolutely right. And the skin, you can get the skin nice and crispy with the air fryer. Um, but I, I was trying to. Does this trunk have a key? It's if it does, it doesn't. Uh, we don't have it, but it opens. Oh, it, there's nothing inside it. And our guest today. Oh my god! Could you imagine? We just like, ta-da! <laughs> um, no, but the the we got, we got Mac Dougal in here. <laughs> that's, for, that's why you haven't seen him in a hot minute. Um, man, what was I gonna say? You made me lose, lose my train of Drumsticks, thought. Drumsticks—they get crispy in the air fryer. Oh no, yeah, but I was what I was gonna say was I went to Woodman's and I was kind of looking for uh, just some more like low carb mm-hmm. options for being able to like make wraps and stuff because like I like. I like lettuce wraps. Like, they're good. Mm. Um, but what I found, which was really interesting that I didn't even think of, was I found cheese wraps. Like so you I wrap it in cheese? Like, mozzarella. Like, I found, like, mozzarella, like, made into a tortilla. Damn. And then you take that, 
and then you could do whatever you you could put whatever you want and then boom you got a wrap and i made uh these like shredded chicken and like you know um lettuce and put does, some cheese does it, does it melt you don't well you would eat it cold not co- you right. could eat it cold but, but you have to be careful right because couldn't you accidentally melt the cheese if it was like warm yeah or but shit? it's it's yeah. it's like thick it's not like as it's not like thin and floppy it's like got mm. like a it's got, it's got a good hold on it, you know. Okay. And, and 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 honestly, I was um, I was interested in it when I ate it. I was interested. I was like, yeah, interesting. It's just like <laughs> it's just like eating something wrapped in a giant cheese stick. Yeah, and it just ta- it like sometimes the lettuce shit gets a little. Damn, it would suck though if you're doing like a lactose and if you were lactose intolerant and doing it, and you were like, oh wait a second, I can't eat this. Yeah, yeah, and I just yeah, no, that wouldn't be good. Thankfully, I'm not. Um. But they had all different types of cheese wraps. They had like Swiss cheese. They had like the what is it, cheddar? Like the the darker yellow cheese. Yeah, yeah like, sharp cheddar. Yeah, they they had a bunch of them and um, little taxed. But like it seems like what all about those provolone. I think they did have that provolone. So good. It's funny how like most like alternative or healthy conscious foods are always a little more taxed. Oh yeah. Like it was, and it sucks because some people are on these diets because like they have to be. Yes. And then it's like, oh, cool. I get to pay like an extra health tax yep. because I literally can't eat these other things. Yeah. Like gluten-free stuff is always like more expensive and more taxed. Mm-hmm. But like it's because gluten some people allergies. will be like, yeah, yeah, it's like they have a gluten allergy. They really have to do that. It's not just some fad diet, you know? Yeah. I don't know, man. It is what it is, man. But I, um, I enjoy. What's your favorite cheese? Ooh. <laughs> really is a food episode man <laughs> for real i think we i once we hit like the 40 minute mark and it was just all food talk that, i was like we might as well round we it off well do it right. yeah yeah because it's like fuck it but um what's your favorite cheese i'm gonna say ricotta i think ricotta ricotta cheese yeah i, I like ricotta you and just then like sit down and eat some i have done it's a it's a good like between meal thing like when i wasn't doing like low carb mm. um like it's a good it, it's a good kind of snack you could put some salt on it you know and you can you know that's a, that yeah that's interesting it's I think, good i think if we're talking like snacking wise mm-hmm. mozzarella because you do like say, the mozzarella log and you cut it i have uh cheese sticks right now i buy them by like the 32 pack oh yeah well there's like no dignified way to buy cheese sticks no you have to you have to get like the big pack of them when you're checking out the person at the register is like are you starting a preschool (laughs) (laughs) yeah no i am dignified way to buy those but i i would say for like sandwiches or like if i'm topping something with cheese i really like munster that i that's the one that's like kind of like has like that bland but doesn't it have like a like a golden edge around it when you get a slice yeah Yeah, i do like that too it's a it's a nice very like bland but like not yeah like it's got a good palette to it yeah if you put it like when you put it when you pair it with stuff it's very good i'll use that believe it or not i'll use that instead of swiss when i make like french onion soup Uh uh-huh and i put some cheese with it i'll use i'll use munster cheese instead of swiss because i don't know i just i really like it cheese is good bro People cheese be sleeping good. on cheese, man. Stop sleeping on the cheese, man. All right, now what's your favorite hot dog? <laughs> well, is there really any other hot dog besides Another brand? Franks. Franks. Isn't that what they're called? I don't know. Or Vienna? What is it? Vienna. I think it's Vienna. I think they're gonna Vienna. Something like that. That's, yeah. like the, that's like the Chicago dog. I've tried almost like all the sh- all the shit. That's like you know. I've tried like the the East Coast hot dog. I've tried the West Coast hot dog. Like. I guess it's probably Chicago that I'd have to side with. Just just based on the like hell's a West Coast hot dog. Uh they load it with weed. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't I don't know. There is there is Dude, something THC dogs would be nuts. There's something. I forgot what it is. Every every region has its own thing. Like, yeah, you know, like East Coast hot dog. That's like you got like Nate, Nate. What is it? Nathan's or Nathaniel's or something? It's something. Like the, the, yeah, the brand of hot dogs. I actually don't mind. I, I kind of like them, like because they're like the foot long. They got the skin. They got a big crunch to them, just like the yeah. Bananas. No, East Coast. They got crazy good food, and like their seafood is obviously insane. Yeah, but that's cheating. They're against an ocean. <laughs> Then again, so is the West Coast, and it's got no excuse because I've never had personally, mm-hmm. personally, yeah. Because I know there's going to be someone in the comments going actually, <laughs> but like I've never had like outrageously good seafood on the West Coast. 
Me neither. I've always been like East Coast and had like really yeah. good shrimp or like lobster, crab. Yeah. Like do you like fish. lobster rolls? Yeah. How do lobster. you not like lobster rolls? I don't know. I think the last time I had a good lobster roll was uh, in Florida. It's gonna me too. I yeah. think Florida's got the some crazy good seafood, bro. Actually, you know what? I and I've never tried it, but my buddy said Louisiana has some pretty good lobster rolls too. But that makes sense because it's mm-hmm. like that Cajun style cooking and stuff. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of good food all around. I wanna um, I wanna take advantage of of that when I play some of these shows and like really make sure to like. I'm not actually here for you guys. Where's the closest place to get a bite to eat? <laughs> I probably will ask that because, like, I mean, they're gonna they know. Their, yeah, they know. Yeah. So, but no, do I do another do another Google form. <laughs> Just like, where's the best place ever? Where's the best place to eat? Where you're from? I did that uh, in Chicago. I remember, like, well, I knew what the best places to eat were, but well, like, you just did it to make fun of them. No, I like asked. I like asked like. Oh, what do you guys like? Lou Malnati's, Giordano's. Like, where where do you guys stand on that? Like, it was kind of funny. Still in the middle. Yeah, yeah. It, it just depends, depends on the day. Or you know, like what I'm feeling because Lou Malnati's yeah. got the better. I see. I feel like Lou's got a better crust. Or wait, do I got that backwards? You might. Sauce. I think Lou's got a better sauce. All I know is I think the funniest misconception when it comes to like people that I know that are out of state, they always talk about the deep dish in Chicago. Specifically, they're like, yo, when I come into town, we got to get some deep dish. What people don't understand is like out here, like, I mean, at least for me, like that's just, just fucking sauce pie. It's kind of fucking gross. Yeah. It's like a once in a while thing. Exactly. But people think like, oh, if you're from Chicago, that's like all you eat day and night, you are just eating If you get a pizza, that's what it is. It's like, no, it's the thin crust. Even even we're like, uh, yeah, that's okay. Once in a while. Yeah. It's the thin crust. For sure, like that's oh, yeah. that's what's good. Here. I'll, even if I get like like not good pizza, like Papa John's, mm-hmm. I get like thin. Yeah, because I like to be able to take it and just kind of fold it with a little bit of a crunchiness. And, and it's know. like deep dish pizza is something that you have to like prep your whole week for because it's yeah, just like you gotta, like you gotta like fucking fast. Yeah, so seriously, you can like eat it all. And I just sometimes I'm like, look, can we just look? Trust me that it's the it's the the thin crust is where it's at. The deep dish, yeah, it's cool because it's like it's a novelty. It's a novelty, but people in Chicago don't just Wednesday at 4 p.m. Let's go eat uh, fucking buckets of sauce. Like that's all it is. That's not even the sauce, dude. It's the cheese that'll get me. It's just everything. It's so big. It's like this much fucking cheese. Yeah. It's like who has? There's no business. There's your fucking mozzarella wrap. Yeah, Just yeah. take the pizza home and roll it up. It's like 90% cheese and sauce and like there's like just the a thinnest bit of crust. Yeah, yeah. But, it's, you know, thin crust. Yeah, it's too much. Way too much sauce. I can't handle it. Um, everyone wants, when they come here, they're like, where's the nearest deep dish? I'm like, dude, that's well, just something. visited from Florida and, you know, we took them to go get Portillo's and the, mm-hmm. the, the cake. I'd rather... That's what I had to get him was the cake. Because you tell someone there's mayonnaise in it, and the first thing they think is, mayonnaise cake? What? And then it's like, no, you got to try it. It's funny, though, because you could almost, like, tell that there's mayonnaise in it. I'm not a huge cake shake fan. I've obviously had it before, but, like, that's the same shit. It's like, God, that is just... I got to... I can't eat for five days before I yeah. eat that fucking shake. You gotta oh. fucking, you gotta fast. It's too you gotta much. Make sure you got enough room for all that richness. Like you can't, you literally can't. Like you can't. It's not that you could taste the the mayonnaise, but it's just rich. Yeah, it's moist yeah. and rich, and it's like you know there's something different in there. Yeah, yeah. But it's it's good. Like I think it's good for people that have never had it to try it once in a while. Um, you know. But Portillo's, I would rather take someone to Portillo's. Then like take them to like a pizza spot because at least with Portillo's like I can get a chicken sandwich and I'm not gonna feel like I'm gonna puke afterwards. Yeah, you know, <clears throat> or I mean shit, I could get two hot dogs and call it. You know, like I'm good on that. But like that deep dish shit just gets you. You have that's another thing. You get you get the deep dish, you get the whole pizza, and you have one slice. You yep. might have two if you're fucking starving. I can I can I can normally get two if I haven't eaten yet. You're day. definitely taking it home. Like, no, yeah. At least Unless a couple you, slices. See, when we, we went, it was, wait, one, one, two. You have three, to have a group. Four, five. Yeah, it was like four or five of us. Yeah. So I was like, that was fine. Yeah. It was like, you know, each person got like two slices. Cause right. Because we got like a, the big one or whatever. Yeah. But like, I actually, I remember when I didn't live out here mm-hmm. and we were visiting, there was mm-hmm. that, that, when I bought the car. No. Yeah. 
it was that that Christmas when I was visiting in December. Uh huh. And we uh, when we were closing deals. And remember, I stayed at the hotel. Yeah, 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 right yeah. Near you. We were going back. We stopped at the Giordano's in Rosemont by okay. the highway. Right. And I ended up. We got that was the first time Mrs. Suit, uh, and the, we we had it. Yeah. And I was like, I forgot they had the frozen pizzas. So I I actually bought like five small frozen yeah. Giordano pizzas. Yeah, you can have them, them shipped to you now. Yeah, but see, I was already driving back, and I asked about the shipping and how much it was, and I was like, you know what? I'll just it's gonna be just a twelve travel. hour drive. Yeah. I popped those. So they gave me a freezer bag. I asked for one, mm-hmm. and I just took them home. And I mean, it was funny because we moved back out here a year later. We still had one left. Wow. Because that's how little you eat them, even yeah. with the small ones. Because, like, we had five people living How long with us did they last? Oh, well, I mean, it's in the freezer. It'll, it'll last. Forever? I mean, until it gets freezer burned. But, I mean, we had them packed pretty well. Right. Yeah, I uh, I see people do that. Like, um, people that lived in Chicago and then they moved. They'll have, like, Portillo's shipped by the boxes. They'll have, like, Lumalnati shipped. I did notice, though. Jardinier. You can't get Jardinier, like, anywhere but here. Right, right. So, like, I remember when I used to come out here, I would stock up on Jardinier and Old Style, the beer I drink. Okay. You can only get that here. I would yeah, go yeah, home yeah. with, like, three 12 packs in my trunk when I'd come visit. Yeah, I uh, I don't know. I, I It's interesting, though, seeing Lumonati's, like, they're popping up everywhere, but they're just those, like, grab-and-go spots. Yeah. Because all I've ever known for, for Lou's is it's, like, a sit-down restaurant, but now it's, I was it's so like... disappointed. Like, I went there, and it right. was one of those pop-up spots, and it was, like... They don't outright say it. Like, oh. like, if you go on Google, it's, like... It, if you look up Illuminati's, like, it'll even say like dine in. Yeah, but you can't dine in. Yeah, you could you could dine in for a split second. Just you could like fucking... walk in and then sit on a bench and wait thirty minutes while they cook your pizza. Yeah, yeah, and then get out. I've noticed though a lot of like, I mean, what what else? Like uh, Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut used to just have They're sit still in. Around? They do. Yeah, yeah, they are. But but they that. did the same thing where because it's probably you know obviously it's more inexpensive. Yeah. To just have, you know, one or two people. Like delivery and just pick up. Yeah, yeah. And it makes sense. But, like, I mean, I don't even... has Was Domino's ever a sit-down? Because I've only remembered Domino's. Damn, that's a great question. Because, like, there probably was if they followed the same type of trend. But all I've ever remembered is Domino's being, like, just a grab-and-go spot. Yeah, I never, I've never... I've like, never in my life gone and ate at a Domino's. It's always just been a grab-it. Or, like... Has Little Caesars? Can you, could you have just sat down in a Little Caesars at some point? I feel like I've seen a Little Caesars with a sitting area, because that's just like you grab the pizza out, you just like no, but like right. who cares? Who wants to eat Papa that? John's? Have you seen Papa John's? No, I've never seen a Papa John's with a sit down. Yeah, so I think a lot of the... I was surprised when the Wing Stop out by me over here has a sit down. I've never seen a Wing Stop that doesn't have chairs in it though. Really? Yeah, I, the couple I've the couple I've been to, they were in North Carolina though. Oh, but they were just like the no one's ever there though. Up. After yeah, COVID, no, no one's ever no, no one's there. Even in anymore. North Carolina, no one was there. Period. Like they're always just picking up. Yeah, it's interesting. I, I, I mean, I remember going to wing stops and they used to be crowded, but it seemed like in the last couple of years, it's like you go to a wing stop and you are the only person there <laughs> every time. Or maybe <laughs> or, or like someone's like just leaving. Yeah, or like they're you're they're coming in and they're like grabbing a, like a they're like a, a DoorDash driver and they're like, yeah they're doing the yeah. With their phone up, you know, yeah. and then you like, could always oh, tell. Gonna be you could always tell when people are shopping for other people too at uh, grocery stores. Yep, it's just they, like they look like they don't belong. Yeah, like, they look like they're they broken. look like they're shopping for someone else. They do. They because look like they, they don't are. know what they're doing there because they yeah. don't. And they're just they, like they looking look like... at their phone and then looking in the and trying to find it. <laughs> it's badly programmed NPC. Yeah, and they're like talking to themselves, like, "Got it. Okay, great. Right. Oh my god. Why do they? Why?" because <laughs> they got it's mental math you got to th- try to think it must be an interesting job i know we talked about I used it before to do it. yeah talk to myself right while shopping for other people right and did you but did you do like any you worked as like an instacart person no or? i worked remember i worked at amazon right the shopping at whole foods like the i was the in-store shopper was that shit kind of weird like shopping for other people or was it um like... you know you really got a feel for someone's lifestyle Right. Like seeing their groceries. Yeah. And like what they wanted. And you got a feel for them as a person when you would be like, hey, Deborah, they don't have the red apples. Do you want green? No, I have to have red apples. I'm canceling the item. Okay. Calm down. <laughs> like, <laughs> right. Right. You can really tell like what kind they, of day they they're having. Like, dude, there was like brand recognition for strawberries. Right. Yo, we don't got no O'Driscoll strawberries. Uh, do you want the house brand? You don't have a Driscoll? I'm ordering somewhere else. And they just cancel their order. I'm like, right. 
Is it really that serious? Like, dude, it's a it's a fucking strawberry. What the? F- <laughs> it's all the same, right? They're it's all the same. A, yeah, it's all just, it's just a strawberry. Like, I don't yeah. get the. Like, I guess, like, I can understand with like, you know, sometimes with tomatoes, um, I'll get like the. I, I never no. I you know what? I can't understand. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be compassionate. Right. But I can't understand. Some people because I'll th- get the fucking those really expensive. Eight dollar things of the grape tomatoes that are like the sweets and deliciouses or whatever, and they're like a name brand. But then I'll just get like the big fucking, you know, the big like look at me strange because I'm that guy bulk size of like grape tomatoes from Costco, where yeah. you know it looks like you have no business buying that much. Yeah, and they're the same shit for like way cheaper. I don't. Uh, when I shop, I'm not <laughs> looking for a specific brand. I'm looking for like the thing that I'm looking yeah, for. You're looking for the item. But like, I'm never just like, oh wow, I need to make sure that it's fucking this uh, instead of this. If anything, I just go for the cheapest. You said it right there. That's and it's it. always the house brand, and the house yeah. brand is just repackaged like of the same shit. Yeah. Oh well, I don't know. At least you're not working there anymore. Yeah, that's true. It was kind it's... of a pain in the ass. Although I really got along with the employees, me and the butcher. Uh, we would we would hang out and talk when I didn't have any orders. Huh. I'd just sit by the counter and talk with them. Hey, man, shout out the butcher. All right, send him home. Okay, guys. Well, we enjoyed having you for this 43, right? Yeah. The episode four. Yeah, 40. The food talk episode. 41st episode. 41st? 41st <laughs> episode. I like that. Yeah, we enjoyed having you for the 43rd episode. We hope you guys enjoyed having us, which I just said again, even though last time I was confused about that. <laughs> Doesn't make any goddamn sense. Go ahead and like the video and leave a comment if you could. It really helps us out and we'd appreciate it. Uh, if you want, you can click over top of him. It's going to give you the video that YouTube recommends for you. If you click over top of me, it's going to take you to the playlist. And you can click on the sign to subscribe to the channel. We uh, enjoyed having you guys. Peace. Peace out, guys.